it's awesome when we find stuff. I mean, for us, we've seen things in the classroom because we've all taken basic level archaeology. So we've seen, you know, ceramics and basic artifacts that they've shown us in class. But when you pull it out of the ground and when you're looking through the screen, you're seeing like 17th century, 18th century, you know, really early artifacts. They've been in the ground for 200 years. It's pretty amazing. I've always been interested in archaeology and history. I learn uh, new things every day. We're finishing up our second week here at the Lower Ashley site. This one step in the long process of uncovering or retelling the story, what people once lived like, what they did, how they lived, uh, tools they used, what objects we found. We think this is one of the oldest sites in South Carolina, and it has some artifacts and pretty neat features that we're finding. This site is particularly significant because it was only occupied for 10 years, 1674 to 1685, so it makes a very nice little snapshot in time. It was a property owned by Lord Anthony Ashley Cooper. He was one of the Lord's proprietors of the Carolinas. It was described in historical documents as a fortified property uh, surrounded by a stockade. We know that it was a very important Indian trading post. That was one of the reasons it was set up. It's great. I absolutely love working with students. I've had the opportunity to participate with the College of Charleston, Charleston Museum Field Schools, uh, over the last 10 years or so. But this opportunity is different because I'm taking what I learned 14 years ago as a student just like these students are, and now I'm helping teach them uh, how to become archaeologists and, and, and train them in field methods. It's, it's a really great opportunity and I'm, I'm so glad to be here.